Okay, sixth grade, lesson 68. This is on dividing mixed numbers. Now, dividing mixed numbers is a lot like multiplying mixed numbers, but I'm not going to show you how to do that today. If you want to watch multiplying mixed numbers, you can go back to lesson 66. Okay, but lesson 66, we explained how to multiply mixed numbers. Okay, but today we're doing dividing, and it's a lot like multiplying fractions. Okay. So, do you remember what we do? First off, we're going to leave this little symbol alone for a minute. So, let's work with this and then we'll work with this. Okay? Do you remember what we have to do? We have to make these into just a fraction and just a fraction, not a mixed number and a whole number in order, in order to multiply two different things. Okay? So, if we had a whole number and a whole number, you could divide. But we have two different types of number. Okay? So, do you remember what we do to this one? You make it improper. Make it improper. Very good. So I have two times three and then three times two plus is two. six, and six That's plus two eight is eight. Over. So this one becomes eight over three. Very good. Now I'm going to leave my division symbol for now. Okay, and then this four becomes what as a fraction? Four over one. Four over one. Now, do you remember when we learned how to multiply fractions? What you do? Uh, it's been a long time ago. You uh, switch them around. Yes. And then you multiply. change this division because you can't divide fractions. You have to multiply them doing it like this. Okay. So we're going to multiply. And what happens to the fraction to the right when you change this to, do, to multiply? Oh, uh, you like make it 1 over 4. Right. Instead of it being 4 over 1, we um, do the opposite. It's going to be 1 over 4. Very good. And so now we just do it just like normal. So 8 times 1 is 8. eight and 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, and that's the final answer, but we can actually reduce on this one. So what will go into both four and, or eight and 12? Four will. Four will go into eight two times. Four will go into 12 three times. Final answer, two thirds. Feel like you got it? Mm -hmm. Let's do one more and we'll be done. Okay, do this one with me on your paper. Two and two thirds divided by one and one half. Okay. So tell me what to do first. We make it improper. Okay, so let's so do this. So it would be three over two Wait. for the one half. Three times two. Oh, we're doing that one first? Well, whatever. Okay. I always go from left to right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so three times two is three times six. Two is six, then six. eight over three. Okay, this one becomes eight over three. Over two. Okay, two times one is two, two plus one is three. Good. Okay, now this is where you're gonna get mixed up, Eli. You gotta make sure you're changing this division into a multiplication and then changing this around. Did you do that yet? Yes. So it should be times, and we would change this to two thirds. Did you do that? Yes. Okay, good job. So eight times two is 16, three times three is Nine. Nine. Now, will this reduce? I don't think so, because four will go into 16, but not nine. Three will go into nine, but not 16. Good. But can this change? Right now, it's a what kind of fraction? An improper. Yeah. And our answer, we need to make into a mixed number. Okay, so we divide it. Okay, so 16 divided by nine, nine times one, and that equals seven. So that would equal one and then seven ninths. Got it? Yep. One and seven ninths. That is our final answer. That's lesson 68.